Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movies 87 here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. I'm actually at the main screen right now because I want to show off this little thing right here. At the very start of the game, only Reen and Elisa are on the train here, but as you uh, meet more party members and, they, and they join your party and such, they'll be added here too. So, you see right now, uh, Gaius and Elliot are both here. So there you go. Yeah, this will change throughout the game as well to add more and more people to this here. So I'll try to show that off as best I can there. Cool little detail there, I like that. Many things I liked about the game, really, but you guys already know that. But anyway, see, so yeah, I still have a lot more of the campus to explore today. I hope to be able to finish all of it. If not, nah, not a big deal. I can go for even longer, or do another episode if need be. All right, so last time I took care of looking around the uh, main building here, by and large, uh, the court, the courtyard, and also the uh, gardening club back there. Um, now we're supposed to go to the student union building, but I'm not going to quite yet. Um, the engineering building is closed for right now, so don't worry about that. So let's go and go off to the library then, shall we? Nice sunset going on right here. Love the uh, hue of the sky up there. I need to stare at that, like, all damn day, really. Anyway, oh, hey, Machius. Oh, he being, uh, useless. Are you sure? Oh, well, okay then. I mean, you did say you wanted to use the library, right? So... I mean, you're allowed to use it. And here's said library. It's a pretty big building. Find Butch detailing key terminology on the second floor and a recommended reading corner on the first. Update almost every month. Ooh, well, that's cool to know. Ah, that's also good to know. So any book you read around here will be added to your book notes section here for a future reference. So there you go. Alrighty. Hello. Oh, you're very polite. Yeah, we'll be here quite a bit uh, as we go along here. Oh, well, hey, good to see you here. Uh, hey, Yusus, what you reading over there? No, I'm not in a club yet. Ah, well, there's plenty around here, so I'm sure something will strike your fancy sooner or later. Oh, well, there you go. Nothing wrong with that. That's also true. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. We're just being polite, that's all. It's all well and good. Let's see, so can I read any of these for right now? Um, oh, here we go. Let's see. Ooh, Imperial Railways, Railways of History. That's a lot of text. Yeah, I'm not going to read over, like, every single little bit here. But I mean, if you want to see more of this in detail, you can always pause the video and read more. But yeah, I'll leave each page up here for a little bit. Let's see. Oh, the Orbal Revolution. Ah. Marked a key turning point in the history of transportation. Yeah, I'll give like a, a summary of things here, but I mean, you guys can see what it is. Uh, 1158. So that would be a handful of years even before, well, our time. We're in 1204 on the calendar, by the way. Professor G. Schmidt, a leading disciple of Professor Epstein. Ah, so there's also the freight line there between Ruhr and the Sachsen Iron Mine. First passenger railway began operation in 1165. Yeah, there's quite the expansive history to this game. Now, I think some of these things here throughout, um, they're referenced more so in um, the Legend of Heroes Trails in the, in the Sky games, if you played 1 and 2. Uh, I myself have not fully completed those yet. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's that. They're added to the book notes section there. But the nice thing is, too, you don't have to play those two games beforehand to um, catch on things here for Cold Steel. It helps, but only to kind of, like, connect the gaps, if you know what I mean, right? Like, you'll pick up on the references that this game makes that were, you know, originally in the first two in the Sky games. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, it looks like there's a plenty of books. Why, wait. Why does that one say Woo Baby? What? Why is that there? Why? I, I see Woo... No. I... Nope. Nope. Reen is a pure young mind. I don't want him to be tainted with the library. Uh, let's go ahead. Anyone else up around here? Yeah, these will, uh, we'll be able to read later on. These actually will be useful as we go along here, here, too. There's yeah a whole bunch of stuff here that I could go over right now, but I'll leave well enough alone. I mean, I could spend, like, an hour in this, uh, just in here, reading over, like, all this stuff here. But uh, you will want to read through all of these um, at some point here, uh, if you're playing through the first time here, because uh, these key feet, these key notes in here, 
um, they'll be helpful for you later on. But yeah, by and large, I'm just showing off like what all of them are here. Uh, the Bracer Guild, you'll, you'll be familiar with that from uh, the first two uh, Trails games there. Uh, let's see, Ryanford Company, Vern Company, the ZCF. Yeah, a lot of these two we're going to learn about as we go along through the main game as well. The Great Collapse. Okay, this I actually want to read over here. Just because I'm curious about that. Sumerian civilization estimates have occurred 1,200 years ago. I almost said 12,000. I have no idea why. Oh. I wonder what would have caused that then. Beginning of the Dark Ages. Huh. Interesting. Anything else over here? Yeah, I, I could be here for hours. Four Great Houses, Hundred Days War, Phantom Thief B. This one I will also read. An elusive thief who has stolen everything from jewels to orbital tanks. How the hell did he pull that off? His strange, almost beautiful methods have given rise to a small, dedicated fan base. Huh. Causes recent unusual thefts, the liberation of beauty. Hopefully we don't run into him, like, ever. Sounds like trouble, to be sure. Anything back over here? Um, I'm trying to see what it says up there. Is that one up there, the top left? The, the one that's actually legible. Who's gonna die first? Um... Let's not read that. I don't I don't feel like dying today. Marine, if you would, please. There you go, that's better. Okay then. Uh, let's see, so from the library, let's go across the way over here, to the front of campus here. Sorry, Mach, yes, Eustace is still in there. You'll have to, uh, uh, just go home or whatever. Oh, hi, new people. Hi, I I'm Marine. How's it going? Uh, Kleiston Company. Oh, you're from there, apparently. Or he is? Oh, okay, not you. You talked like the dwarves from Final Fantasy 1. I, I mean, no offense when I say that, I'm just pointing that out, is all. <laughs> but, I mean, he's your friend, isn't he? He was just curious, that's all, but yeah, that's not quite a, a club. Uh, well, to each their own. I'll leave well enough alone. Okay. Um, here's the auditorium over here, um, but yeah, this is by and large locked for the most part here, so don't worry about that. Let's go over here to the uh, western half of the uh, campus there. Uh, gymnasium, I'll go over there in a bit. Let's go off to the academy field. We'll be here a good bit throughout the game. Uh, down over here. Oh, hey, it's a lacrosse practice. I see uh, Lisa's apparently joined. And Emma wants to join too? You would think... I don't... I wouldn't picture Emma joining the uh, lac uh, lacrosse club. That's just me, though. What do you mean a different air about her? Oh, well, huh, interesting. Who's passionate? Never knew you played lacrosse before. Or maybe she hasn't. Um, this kind of seems like, yeah, it's girls only. But no, that's, that's fine. No worries. Hi there. Oh, apparently it's traditional in Arabonia. Hmm, huh, interesting. Three key pillars of the sport are three key pillars of youth itself. Friendship, hard work, and success. Well, good to keep in mind. Yeah, she seems to be, like, a little, you know, almost too into this. No, I, I kind of deduced as much, but no, nah, that's fine. Let's go over here, shall we? Let's see. Ooh, I see a horse. Nay! Is it, that's a... Look at your ears. Look at your ears. They're so cute. They're like donkey ears, almost. <laughs> I find humor in the dumbest things, I swear. Oh, hey. Uh, Lambert Mott and his trusty steed, Whitcomb. Interesting name. Um, I would, no, I wouldn't mind that. I was saying last time I'd never been on a horse before, so that'd be the club for me to join. Yeah, well, we'll leave the uh, stable in peace then. Anything back over this way? Um, uh, nah, just a little shady corner over here. Why anyone would want to go there, I don't know. Oh, can't go over there either. Okay, um, so I think now the last thing to do is just the, oh wait, hey, I didn't see you before. Um, uh, don't be creeping on them now. Okay, um, at least ask their per permission? I mean, it's a, it's kind of really impolite to, you know, take their pictures without asking. But anyway, here be the uh, gymnasium. We heard last time, you know, the uh, training hall and the uh, swimming pool are here. Um, anything over this way? I don't think there is, but I'll check anyway. Oh, uh, a lot door. <laughs> this I had not seen before. My death would be swift, blissful, but swift. I had uh, not caught that before. 
Oh, I didn't know it here, at least. Um, to the, you know, appropriate locker room. Um, oh, I can actually go in. Oh, I never thought to do this before. No one's here, though, so not really much of a point to do so, but eh, it's there. There's just so much to do in this game. I love it. It's ridiculous. Oh, now the fencing club would be cool to join. Man, that is true. Plenty to keep you busy around here, for one thing. Oh, hi. What's going on here? Oh, well, he kind of sort of is. Um, oh, great. It's Patrick again. Wait, seriously? What a dick. Wow. Patrick's already uh, being an asshole to everybody on campus. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Interesting, to put it one way. Mm, very true. Very true. Nice hair, by the way. <laughs> See? This guy gets it! This guy's smart! I like him already! Oh, by the way, yeah, even though it still says Arrogant Boy, we already knew his name was Patrick. It hasn't, it hasn't been formally introduced yet, but oh well. Um, I think he's asking for a sword through his face. Can I sit here and watch? Because that'd be cool. I mean, it's good that Patrick's confident and all that, but I mean, there's a fine line between confidence and just downright assholeness. Oh, hey, what have we here? This is a really big pool. Uh, I want to jump in, like, right now. Uh, that would that'd feel so nice to go swimming for, like, just hours on end, just do laps. I'd be totally cool with that. Oh, that's good to hear. Oh? What do, you, what do you mean by that? Thinking of joining? Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Well, I like the way he thinks. Anyone else around here? I don't see anyone else. Okay, I think that's enough um, horsing around and such. I mean, I've explored the entire campus so far, I think. I'm already 12 minutes into the video, too. So I kind of do want to progress, you know, a little bit here today. But, hey, also, by and large, I'm fine with just roaming around talking to everyone. Like, seriously. I already talked to Lily. Oh, I'm in the courtyard. You'd think by now, also, I, kn I know where the hell I'm going. I've played through the game how many times now? But, no, not not really. And here be the Student Union Building. Yeah, it sits on, on the top left, by the way. Oh. Hey there, first year. Oh, who was that? Hi. Can I help you, bandana person? How's it going? No, oh, it's 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 going. Academy life been treating you well this past half month. <laughs> well, I haven't died yet, so I guess it's good. No, oh, you have no idea. Of course it will. Sorry. Your class is going to be more intense than the others too. Wait, how would you know that? Would you just hang in there, okay? No, well, hey. Thanks, I guess. Hey now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First things first, how about you let me show you this cool trick I've been practicing? Why is your belt on on a diagonal? Never mind. Hmm. What what kind of trick? You got a fifty mirror coin I can borrow? Well, yeah. Yeah, I have five hundred mira, so. But he didn't actually take. Never, never mind. All right, watch closely. I'm watching. Oh. Now, which hand is the coin in? Left or right? Um, I have no idea. Um. I have no idea of that one. Damn it! Oh, wait a second. Oh. Uh oh. You catch on quick. He's a sharp one. But where's the coin? 
Keep up the good work, man. Oh well, hey, thanks. Can I have my money back? You're gonna need to be pretty tough to get through a year with Sarah as your instructor. Oh dear God, got that right. Oh, and uh, the student council room is on the second floor, furthest room back. Um, how did you know he was going there? See you around. Have a good weekend. You say weekend, but yeah, they only have like one day off of school, and that's Sunday. Oh. <laughs> Where's the Price is Right fail horn when you need it? That'd be perfect right about now. He's, um, uh, sneaky. <laughs> well, hopefully they're not all like that. That would kind of be bad. Oh, yeah, may as well. Plenty more people to talk to inside here as well. And, yeah, unfortunately... Oh, wait, actually, no, that doesn't take any of your money. Oh, for some reason I thought that actually would, but yeah, I still have 500 bucks. Good to know. Good to know. All right, here we have the Student Union Building. We'll be here a lot. Cafeteria on the right, campus door to the left. Uh, I would sure hope so. Now, yeah, I somehow, like, completely missed this when I played through the game my first time. I was like, where do I buy weapons and stuff? I was like, oh! Yeah, I'm stupid. Well, that's good to know. Um, anything available yet? Can I talk to you? Hi. Oh. Well, then you suck. I am never coming back. I hate you. Hi. No, I'm a little peckish. Although, me, myself, I had lunch earlier, so I'm, I'm good to go there. Oh, cheap, delicious, and served quickly. Well, that's a wonderful combination there. Okay, well, what do you have? Let's see. A uh, whole juice and a tomato sandwich. Wait, really? Literally just slice of tomato on bread? Odd, but meh, okay. I also hear, um, they'll tell us about this later on, but we have Sepeth Mass here, right? You're able to exchange that. Uh, for each one you have equals 10 Mira, which you get from enemies, right? So let's go and just turn all that in. And that's going to be more or less your main source of money throughout the entire game there. So there you go. And yeah, it's in plentiful supply as well, so don't worry about that. As long as you fight monsters, that is. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of a tomato sandwich. Tomatoes themselves, I don't really like that much, but they're in other things I like. Like salsa, for example. But yeah, by and large, man. Nah. Oh well. Well, that's true, yeah, it is still early in the school year. It generally is pretty easy to start out with, in, well, in general speaking, really. Yeah, you got that right. Well, at least all, not all the nobles around here are uh, assholes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot more stuff to do than the other classes here. Though I was saying um, before, I was curious to see like what all they have to do and difference from us. Yeah, oh well. Let's see, so student council room is that one dead ahead there you see there at the uh, very end. Let's go in here first. Well, what have we here? Flip. Oh, the literature club. And photography. Oh, I talked to that kid earlier. Um, I forgot his name, though. She seems to be more involved with her book than you there, Fidelio. Cool name, by the way. I will uh, give you that. Anyone else in here? Nah. Plenty of books, though. Nerd! Anyway, um, let's go over here now, shall we? Oh, hey, yeah, they have a chess club here, too. I've only played chess at a couple of times. I don't even fully know, like, how it works. I know, like, Bishop to Queen 5, you sunk my battleship. Simpsons reference. But, uh, oh well. This seems like to be a good fit for, like, Machias here. I mean, it seems up his alley, really. Oh, gone fishing. Kenneth. Oh, okay, well, never mind. He's apparently well, out right now. Oh, what have we here? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Never caught that before. Anyone in here? No. Cool pictures, though. Um, let's see. Looks like they're all of the campus, by and large. You see a train on there on the bottom right. Um, oh, pretty cool. Anything else back over here? I don't think you can go into like full-on first-person view, um, so I'm trying to see these, show these off as best I best I can. Why is there more Woo Baby here? Um, okay, well that's all well and good there. There's one more building room over here. Oh, an unused room. Well, never mind then. Okay, enough horsing around. 
How can you sense that? Mm, well, may as well not. We kind of have to. I don't think she'll mind. I mean, she welcomed you in. Hi! <laughs> it's been about two weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, more or less. Welcome to the student council room, Reen Schwarzer. I was gonna say, how do you know his name? But you, like, you like to know everything, so. Instructor Sarah sent you, right? Yes. Oh yeah, how old is Fee, by the way? Well, I mean, I myself know, but I don't want to really spoil it. Hmm. Is something wrong? Nah, nah, just uh, thinking to myself. <laughs> I am, but there's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. Oh, well, that's good to know. And this would be Toa Herschel, student council president. Oh, sorry, I spoiled that right before she said it. Uh -huh. Does that surprise did you not see the exclamation point? It kind of did. I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know, okay? Oh, she sounds helpful. I appreciate that. I'll do everything in my power to make it better. But I have to wonder, for as young as she is, how did she become student council president? That's... yeah, that's very impressive. Oh yeah, that's right, Sarah mentioned that last episode. Oh, of course. But uh, what would it be, I wonder? Here you go. She, you, you didn't grab anything. Oh? Oh, student notebooks. Yeah, would have been nice to have those on day one. Hint, hint, Sarah, hint, hint. I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Class seven's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. Oh, that's true. That's all good. And you're even using a different kind of battle ornament, so yours had to be compiled separately. So all the more work for us then, pretty much. I feel bad. Notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle ornament. Oh, well, that's handy. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year, so we could just reuse last year's template. Oh, well, that's easy enough then. Makes sense, too. No need to change that up. But the archetype you're using works quite differently, so we have to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. Can only imagine all the work that went into this for Class 7 here? I mean, got their own, own uniforms for one thing, a whole new form of Arcus. Oh, the artists in general. Um, a whole new curriculum curriculum as well. Sorry. What well, yeah, well. Pretty much just me. Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. Without helping you? Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. No, think nothing of it. I mean we didn't even know about it until just now. <laughs> you you'd think, but no. Sleeping. And I help out the other instructors a lot too, so I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. How in the actual hell do you juggle everything you do around here? Yes, please. I really appreciate what you've all agreed to do too. Wait, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I heard all about it from Instructor Sarah. And that's another thing that she hadn't told us before. <laughs> Add that to the list. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work, right? I didn't fully really agree to that. It's such a nice gesture. You're really getting class seven off to a great start here at the academy. Uh, now I feel bad for kind of wanting to turn her down. <laughs> didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? Um something about wanting to better yourselves to prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class. Kinda after we finished the uh, old stroll house thing. She said you were all really eager to help out. 
So I should try to delegate some of my duties to you. You'd think she would have told Rain about that first, but this is Sarah talking about, so no. Oh, so that's what she meant by that earlier. <laughs> Yeah, Reen and Sarah have quite the, um, interesting relationship. We'll deal with that. I, I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand her or something? A little bit. Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. You're so cute. Misunderstanding there for a moment. Well, there still kind of was, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't give you anything too difficult. I would sure hope not. I mean, it's a first year. Come on now. It'll mostly just be fulfilling requests from people in the academy and in Trista. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them, and we try to help out however we can. So, if you're familiar with uh, the earlier Trails games, this will probably sound familiar to you, the general concept of the Student Council here and all that. I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day, and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. Oh, hey, works for me. Will that be okay with you? Well, that was sure something. So yeah, by and large, Student Council is kind of like the Bracer Guild, actually, from the earlier games there. Not quite as, like, dire and serious as the Bracer Guild, because, you know, they handle things like, well, more intense, like, workloads and all that. Whereas here, it'll kind of just be, like, menial tasks? Of sorts, really. Oh, well, how long were you in there? What time does the school end for them, anyway? Like, time of day? Oh wow, she even did that too? That was nice of her. I don't know how she does it. Also, Arcus. Oh god, Marine, just drop the thing and run. <laughs> this never ends well. Everything she says, I laugh at. Like, oh my god. She kills them. Oh yeah, about that. I'll keep the details for now, but it's got something to do with the other part of your curriculum that I'll be announcing next week. Oh yeah, that. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. I'm not following your line of thinking here, but okay. To each their own. <laughs> you got that right. Well, it sounds easy enough. Nah, yeah, I'm on board. Why not? Oh, that's entirely up to you. Wait, what? If there's a club you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. Ah, oh, well, kind of works out for him anyway. So he's now. Reen is kind of, not really an official member of the student council, but kind of, sort of. Oh? Only one? Seriously? Oh, yeah. Hadn't thought about that earlier. I'm gonna go for a little extra length on today's episode, just because of how much stuff I had done earlier, and also plenty of cutscenes here. Oh, that is true, actually. It's a fair point there. <laughs> so... Well, in a sense, you're effectively at the center of Class 7. Really? How so? I'm not saying you're its leader, of course. <laughs> that, that would be silly. Oh. Surely even you can see that, no? That's why I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. All right, I'll 
play along. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Ball's in your court now. Oh. Oh god. Beer. Of course. <laughs> She's so casual about it. It's the weekend and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations. Alas. All by my lonesome. Are you like a hopeless romantic or something? You strike me as such. If only I had a classy gentleman friend who'd go out drinking with me. But woe of woes, such a man is merry to be found. Reen's face right now is mine right now. He's like, I'm not having any of this right now. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, these two, their relationship is ridiculously hilarious. What's so wrong with putting everything in its place? That's rather poetic. Also, how are you able to, like, deduce that from only knowing him for, like, two weeks now? <laughs> and on that note, make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew, and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! Wait, what transgressions? I, I haven't done anything! This game is weird. <laughs> in, in a good way. Yeah, when Sarah wants to, she can actually be surprisingly very serious, but more often than not, it's... no. <laughs> this game. Chapter 1, Unconventional Studies. Can I save here? No? Okay, well, I'll save later. I've already been doing it for over half an hour. You know what's cool too about the text sound it makes here when it's scrolling along the screen there? Reminds me of Illusion of Gaia. If you guys have played that game with how like, you know, the text pops up like letter by letter, like like that, more or less. Yeah, I did that. Okay, now access the overall achievements and character profile sections of the notebook. And, yeah, we know where to find that. So let's choose note, blah, blah, blah. Hey, we're in room 201. Oh, yeah, I may as well. I would assume everyone's here. Everyone is here now, anyway. Ah, so yeah, we don't want to do that quite yet. Pretty much any time you're in, a do in the dorms like this, you want to talk to everybody. I mean, by and large, you technically don't have to, but you may as well anyway. Okay, so with that, guys, I'll call it quits here, then I'll take care of delivering all of our class notebooks next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. This has been Mr. Moves 87 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.